Hello folks, I'm Dr. Fazal. You're watching uh, September 2023 of Dr. Fazal TV show. The topic of discussion today is enlarged prostate or ele elevated PSA or prostate expressive antigen. So most, mostly we do like, you know, for uh, after certain age, after age 50, we do uh, PSA level once a, once a year to make sure that if, uh, if the level is good, uh, the normal level is up to four, which is the upper limit. Now we have to be careful when we talk about the levels, because if you're taking certain kind of medications, for example, um, a finasteride, you have to multiply by two. So for example, if your level is four, if you're taking finasteride, the level would be actually eight. So a lot of doctors uh, overlook that situation as well as patients don't understand that. So you have to adjust the levels according to your medication. So we can easily miss high elevated PSA, which could be early indicated of prostate cancer. So folks, um, we do uh, prostate exams, we do uh, prostate checks and stuff. Uh, a large prostate can cause um, uh, various uh, uh, conditions. For example, not it causes uh, only that it causes difficulty in passing urine, uh, frequency of urine, or um, difficulty to pass uh, finish urine urination, or a dribbling of the urine after a person is done passing urine. But it can also cause upstream effect. For example, it can cause uh, kidney failure. And I have seen multiple patients having kidney failure, mechanical obstruction. Sometimes it can cause uh, so much pressure on the bladder that bladder just distend. And even if you fix the prostate by surgery, uh, because of uh, prolonged distension of the bladder, here is the hologram you can see. This is a large prostate. The bladder has been distended and stretched and have a diverticula, like a poaching, out poaching of the, of the urinary bladder. And it can cause uh, permanent irreversible damage to the uh, uh, bladder. So even if you fix the, uh, and uh, the prostate by surgery by a TERP, which, which is like a rooter rooter we call it, or a new uh, flow, uh, new um, uh, technology is Eurolift. And this is how the Eurolift has been done. And you can see uh, there's a stitch on each side of the prostate. They open up the prostate by a stitch. It's, outpatient procedure is very common. It's done nowadays is a new technology. Or rooter, rooter or a TERP, uh, trans uh, uh, prostate resection. And you can see the, where the urologist is going there. The urologist is the surgeon of uh, ur kidneys, uh, ureters, and the urinary bladder and prostate. Just remember that. Nephrologist is the medical side, and urologist is the surgical side. I'm a, a nephrologist, by the way. So, um, so I'm on the medical side of the kidneys, bladder, and prostate. So now, folks. So if you have a large prostate for too long, it might not cause any uh, symptom except the basic common symptoms as I just said early in my uh, uh, speech today. So, uh, but over a period of time, silently it can cause distension of the bladder. And if uh, down the road, if you do the surgery, the, the, the urinary bladder is gone and it will not work and you will have a urinary incontinence or retention. So get it diagnosed early uh, by ultrasound of the bladder, by blood tests. If you have symptoms, do not hesitate to talk to your provider. It should be evaluated, evaluated uh, rather quickly and get it fixed, you know, medication-wise or by surgery or both, depending on the situation. Other thing is that a large prostate can be benign or it can be cancer. So if your PS is high, that could be high due to infection of the prostate or just a large prostate, which is benign, or most commonly, a prostate cancer. So if you have elevated prostate uh, specific antigen, PSA, then do ask your doctor what your PSA is, then, get yourself uh, seen by a urologist they might most likely do will do a prostate biopsy and if there's a prostate cancer then it should be treated rather early i mean in the past they say oh you will not die of prostate cancer you will die of something else uh, those were the days when you used to live short sure, now we have long lifespan so yes you will die of something else and not the prostate cancer well as a matter of fact i'm saying opposite you will die of prostate cancer then there's something else because people are living longer so when the lifespan was small, small, yes, that was not a big deal back then. But if you have prostate cancer now, folks, get it fixed. Uh, believe me on that. It's worth it. The Dr. Fazel Show is now available to view at home on Roku devices and YouTube. Catch up on your favorite episodes right on your phone, available on YouTube and the BioFamily Clinic app. The Dr. Fossil Show is available in many doctor offices across Yuma, Arizona. Pick up your free copy of Health Tips Magazine, available throughout Yuma, Arizona or read our digital version at healthtipsmagazine.com. The other thing is, um, 
kidney failure. So if you have a too much pressure on the kidneys, you can see in this hologram, the urine is being built up in the bladder, then it's standing the ureters. The ureters are the tube which connect the bladder to the kidneys and kidneys are distended. You can see this is, we call it hydronephrosis. On both sides, right and left, there are two kidneys. And over a period of time, the kidneys will, uh, because of high pressure, will lose its filtration capacity and can cause chronic kidney disease. In the worst case scenario, it can to become to totally uh, dysfunctional and you will end up on dialysis or kidney replacement treatment or like hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. You can see uh, behind, my, uh, behind uh, on my back, you can see that picture, how the hemodialysis is done and how the peritoneal dialysis is done. And also another picture, you, now you can see uh, how the hydronephrosis look like. And uh, so it's really important. So small thing can get big thing. Prevention is better than cure. Get it fixed rather early so we can prevent all that complication. There's no shy in getting just sort of talking to the doctor about this issue. There's no glory of having a large prostate or prostate cancer and then dying of that, folks. Uh, uh, take care of yourself. That's common uh, issues. Easy to diagnose, easy to fix. But uh, the key thing is early treatment, early diagnosis, early treatment and prevention. Or you will end up with uh, blown up uh, 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 urinary bladder, then you will have to self cath That means you have to put catheter every day. And that is a disaster because now you have to use, either put a permanent urinary bladder back, you can see on the back, or you have to do a straight cath, like you catheterize yourself three times a day, and that can introduce infection. Uh, it totally disrupts your daily functional life. And then the worst case scenario, in addition to that, you can have a kidney failure. Now you have incontinence and then you have kidney failure and you also on dialysis. And so starting from very small thing and become a whole lot of big thing. So folks, uh, do take care of that. Uh, don't underestimate uh, the small problems. Um, when you see a smoke, you find the fire, right? So if you see that problem, do talk to your doctor, it's worth it. On that note, uh, folks, I will call it a day or end of the Dr. Fazal show for uh, prostate disorders and re related conditions. I will be back next time with more useful information. Till that time, have a wonderful uh, rest of the month and God bless you and God bless America. Thank you so much, Dr. Fazal here.